So here's a video of how I am going to extend my tongue of my sailboat trailer. So I want to get this in to a, a place where the ramp isn't real good or it's really slippery. I don't want to have my vehicle slipping and sliding in a, in a ramp that's no good. So the original hitch that was on here is way too close to here and it doesn't allow me to open up the back of my truck when it's attached. So I want to extend this. Even for trailering, I want to extend it a couple of feet. But for launching, I want it even more. So I got an eight foot piece of a quarter inch thick tubular steel that is supposed to fit inside this two and a half inch right here. So what it is, I drilled some holes, stuck that hitch on there, the coupler I mean, and now I'm gonna shove it in there and make it come all the way through here. And I also have to cut a hole in the back of this with my cutting torch and allow the extra piece just to come back in here. I may have to support it somehow, but I probably don't have to. It's pretty rigid material. So uh, let me stick that in there and see how it goes. So I got this uh, coupler cut off of here and I go to stick this extension piece in there and the diameter in here is exactly the same diameter the problem is it fits too tight so went back to the steel place and i learned something this i had to buy because this is called receiver tubing receiver tubing is different than square tubing this is for a class five, building a class five receiver, which is a real heavy duty. Um, but this will fit over this with enough play in there just to let it slide a little bit. So I'm gonna cut all this out of here and weld that piece in place of this. So I've already cut this off, just got to lift it off, and then I'm going to cut these welds here, cut this around here, and that tube will slide into here with a hole in the back right here so that that grade tube can slide through and just kind of hang in here wherever it goes. So. Let's get cutting. So here it is, all cut out, all ground down, just about ready to weld. Got a little bit more grinding to do over here, but we're going to test fit this to see if this all slides in there. Okay. All right. Well, that looks good. That's about. about where I'm gonna have it right about there and then the other piece slips right in here goes wherever it goes so this is gonna be my minimum towing length right there along with a uh, the coupler eight or nine inches for the coupler and that'll put that right about there so i think that'll work i don't want to go any shorter than that so i got that 
receiver tube welded in. I had to whack a piece off of it. Because what happens is when you weld stuff like this, it'll expand. One side, if you weld one side more than the other side, it'll expand and make an arc like this very slightly not not very much the problem is when it contracts it shrinks and makes a an arc this way so when you heat metal and you want to um, keep it straight you really got to put it in a jig well i don't have a jig so what happened was is this tube um, when it was really long it was about a oh probably eighth of an inch out of um, out of line in other words it had a slight bend in it and I couldn't get it out no matter how much I heated on the bottom I even put my tractor on the end here to try to bend it down a little bit to get it straight and I couldn't get it straight no matter what I did with it it just there was so much welding going on here that you couldn't straighten it so all I did was whack a piece off I still have enough room to drop a pin in here and now that it's shorter it doesn't have that smile to it if it does it's so slight that it really doesn't matter. And now this tube goes back and forth really smooth. So now I'm just gonna clean it up and paint it and then drill some holes. Well, here's my extended sailboat tongue. It comes out eight feet total. This is where I trailer it. So I got a hole in there. I can drill a hole pretty much anywhere I want, depending on what I want to do with it. But for now, it's uh, it's pinned right there where I trailer it and where I usually uh, put it into the to the uh, the ramp. But if I have a beach or some place where uh, the ramp isn't really good or isn't deep enough. I can always take this pin out here. I'm going to cable this pin over here so I don't lose it. But it's pretty easy to just pull this thing out like that. I have a stop over here. It's just a piece of rebar welded to the, to the tube. If I ever need to take it out, I can just cut that off. But I probably won't ever take this out. So... I still got to paint all this, but as you can see, I've got a really long tongue for loading this boat. It's low anyway, it's a trailer sailor, so it doesn't need a really deep uh, ramp, but um, this just makes it easier. Sometimes you got to give it a little kick. And it just slides right in like this. Line up the holes. You can see it's a pretty good fit. You just jiggle it in, line up the hole. Throw the pin there. Lock it in. These are commercially available. I didn't make this. This is just a a uh, regular hitch pin actually it's a little bit different than a hitch pin because it's got this cable anyway i extended my what wiring i didn't need to make it any longer than this because if i extend this out i've got my wiring disconnected anyway i don't ever run my lights in the water with power on it anyway so i always disconnect it so then i welded some chain on here 
safety chains thing. And that's it. Let's go sailing. <laughs>